Hi, I'm Mike Molsher from 2000 AD. You're listening to Attack of the 50 Foot Nerds on the Panels on Pages Podcast Network. The title for tonight's podcast is Kerouac. Kerouac. Just another Tuesday. We're taking over. Happy Tuesday, podcast. Let's fucking do this thing. PanelsOnPages.com Podcast Network is here to cover all of your pop culture needs. Two words, nerd boner. From comics to television to movies to wrestling. Fuck wrestling. Your favorite PCN hosts will keep you entertained all week long. Boobs, boobs, boobs. Peen, peen, peen. Who put me in charge? <laughs> He's canceled. He's Subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Look for the pop stars on Facebook and Twitter. And be sure to join the forums and become a member of the population. Load up your portable MP3 player to listen to your favorite podcast. You expect the announcer to say something witty to introduce you to the program. But instead, he tells you that his children hate him. And that his wife left him. He's got no money. His life is falling apart and he's contemplating suicide. I've got a gun and a lot of pills, he says. He asks you for help. But you can't help him. He's beyond the 50 foot nerds. I hate you, Andy. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know what you want to do. What? I don't know. What do you want to do? The same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. That's the beat. I mean, what? What? Well, yeah, that too. <laughs> I was going to say masturbated pictures of Lindsay Lohan, but I don't do that. Which because, Lindsay Lohan? Because... Cokehead Lindsay Lohan or Lindsay Lohan who rides Herbie? <laughs> Did you <laughs> just... uh, uh, Sounds a bit wrong. <laughs> she, that, 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 that was the uh, spin-off that Disney didn't want to make. Yeah. So they were like, uh, they made the thing. Like, okay, what's the sequel going to be? And then the guy in the office goes, Lindsay rides Lindsay bananas. Goes, I mean, <laughs> Lindsay takes Herbie and they go dogging. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what's Lindsay dog- rides Monte Carlo. Who's he? <laughs> Monte and Carlo, they're brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Funnily enough, uh, they're, they're called that because one of them was uh, one of them was, ra- was raised in Spain, and the other one was uh, raised in in, uh, in London in 1874. <laughs> like, what? Smithers, help me screw Lindsay Lohan. Well, guys, like, uh, uh, like here's what are you doing here? Twins, like blood. identical twins, <laughs> except for one of them's wearing like a proper suit with a monocle and a top hat and a pipe, and the other one's dressed like. Good a... evening, <laughs> I'm Carlo. <laughs> no, no, that that guy, that guy's Monty. And then Carlo <laughs> turns up and he's dressed like a fucking matador. <laughs> like, why are they dressed like that, Monty and Carlo? It's like. You're a racist! Get out! It's like, how dare you, you nigger. <laughs> oh, God! Get this negro chap out of my business room. Business room? <laughs> Office. <laughs> business room. Excuse me while I put on my hat, puts on a KKK <laughs> Uh-huh. I've got business to attend to. <laughs> and pulls out his lighter and a cross, sets it on fire and puts it on his desk. Excuse me, I have a food eating time appointment. You mean dinner? That's the chap. Hugh, <laughs> 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 uh. get me a Mexican slave girl. <laughs> No particular reason, I just want one. Yes. <laughs> you, cut my milk. <laughs> cut my milk. <laughs> At least I'm not outside and cut me a switch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Uh, old tabby racism. <laughs> <laughs> old man river is old man river. <sighs> you make me coffee, but I'm your boss. Yes, but you're also a woman. Make me coffee. <laughs> old time sexism. Because women should be seen and not heard. That's why no rapes no are ever reported back in the 30s. <laughs> oh, God, don't start on rape. <laughs> if we start on rape, we'll never get off the subject. We never do. No. <sighs> well, speak for yourself. <laughs> Uh, Why use your subject this week, Andy? (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, so, um. How's your week been? (laughs) Slow, slow, no rapes. Uh, (laughs) Oh man. Oh Oh, god. Um, um, No, I haven't really been up to much, to be honest with you. I'm trying to think what I've been up to. Oh, I went back to acting classes this week. I started again. I went back as of Sunday. Oh, okay. Yes. On Is Sunday. this the same one that you were you were telling me about? Um, like, no. What, was it when we were um, we were filming my music video, and you were um, you were talking about it, and you said that everyone was they were having to do a monologue, but they, you were having to re or read lines or something. You have, they, they were saying, oh, like, do it in this kind of voice or this kind of voice, and everyone... No, 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 they, I, 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 no, I'm not, no, I didn't end up going back to that one. <laughs> no, I couldn't, I couldn't find time to go back to that one. So, uh, uh, I, I'm not going there anymore. This is, I've gone back, funny enough, is uh, my old mentor, is if you will, she's uh, moving back to, well, she's doing uh, acting classes back in Liverpool again. Yeah. Uh, just... Uh, coincidentally, at the same time as I'm looking for a different drama group to join, so um, just serendipitous that uh, it started this weekend. So I, I turned up, and uh, yeah, I haven't seen her for a while, and yeah, so it was nice to see her, nice to catch up with her, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm back. So yeah, it felt like it felt like old times. It felt like yeah, it was good to be back, man. It was good to be back. Cool. Yes, this is a a woman I've mentioned before on the podcast without naming names kind of thing, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I went to her wedding, I've mentioned that much. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, um, I thought you meant it was that other one where it was like everyone was being serious, so you went up and you were, and you, you were like... Uh, oh ready. my God, that's the, yeah. the old ad bun voice, don't you know? Yeah. Yeah, no. The bay or not the bay? That's the question. Don't you know? <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I was watching, like, uh, I was watching... What is like Titty Kaka? No, that's wrong. <laughs> I was I was watching uh, Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated on Netflix earlier right. with Connor, and it got to an episode where there was, like, they entered um, this uh, mystery-solving fi- state finals or something. Right. And I was, I was like... Oh, okay, this is going to be an ordinary episode. And then when they got there, there was, like, fucking... The, the Funky Phantom and, fuck, yeah. and, like, Captain Caveman and... Oh, awesome! Uh, like, uh, <laughs> all, all those sorts of groups. Uh, there was the Sharks. Josie and the Pussycats? Uh, they weren't there, but there, oh. there was the one with the shark. Oh, oh, God. Um, I forgot what they're called. Oh, somewhere... Near the screen at us. Um, yeah, I can't remember. And then there was the one with the talking. Sharky and George. Yeah, I don't know. No, not <laughs> Sharky and George. That was my first thought, but it it, it wasn't. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, yeah. And then there was the one with the talking dune buggy. Oh, uh, oh God, that's gonna kill me now. I can't remember. But all of them were. They were all the, the competition. Yeah. Uh, but then this fucking. Lord Infernicus or whatever his name is, this big flaming skeleton guy. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Oh, not uh, that kind of flaming. No. Uh. Turns up and sends all the all the like kidnaps, all the groups, so all the sidekicks have to get together and solve the mystery. 
So basically, the mystery... did, you, did you say the Groovy Ghoulies were there? No. What? What? The, who were the Groovy Ghoulies? I think that doesn't know then. Never mind. No, there was there was the Funky Phantom. There no, was that's right. yeah, that's Scooby. Right. There was right. uh, Captain Caveman. There was the shark. Please tell me Captain Caveman actually did Captain Caveman. Oh yeah, quite a few times. Quite quite awesome. a few times. Like uh, there were a couple of times when he's like, like um, this isn't. Uh, did anyone actually say? So- did anyone say Zowie Cavey? No, because uh, oh. because all the all the groups um, got kidnapped. So oh. the mystery had to be solved by all the sidekicks. Mm. So like they made um, a makeshift group out. The dune buggy went off with uh, with the uh, principal of the school and the local radio DJ chick who uh, helps out Mystery Incorporated every so often right. to try and uh, stop this uh, this uh, trying to figure out why the antenna <clears throat> was uh, the to communicate with the outside world was jammed. So they went to figure that out. Meanwhile, the mystery had to be solved by the funky phantom Scooby-Doo, uh, Captain Caveman and the Shark. <laughs> As you do? Yeah. And it was only Scooby who could uh, who was actually figuring it out. Um, Does he Scooby-Doo? Yeah. The funky phantom was... Uh, it turned out that he was the villain. Oh. <laughs> because he's like, I'm not actually a ghost. I'm a thespian. <laughs> it's like the whole the whole premise is that. Um... Was his name Trevor? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay then. But um, he uh, his uh, whole thing was um, he came up with the idea. Nice to meet you. I'm Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> no. no he, 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 okay. He, he ba- what? Never mind. What was that a reference to? No, it doesn't matter then. No, it does. No, it doesn't. No, okay, you've clearly still not seen it, so okay. Carry on. Seen what? Never mind. Evil Dead or Iron Man 3? I'm not saying... Is it a late... uh, Is it a uh, pretty... Carry on. No, is it a pretty new film? And then I can tell you. Well, obviously I haven't, so fuck it. Well, there you go then. Um, <laughs> don't you? You should know me by now. I never watch films. That's very true. Yeah, I don't know why you do a bloody film podcast if you don't watch films. It, it's not just a film. In fact, podcast. that that's why I wrote that script. I don't like, know that what the non-committal script, you're script. About. Yeah, that non-committal script. Yeah, yeah. But um, no. Uh, oh, where was I? It turned out the uh, the the guy, <laughs> the the funky phantom. Was, he was like he was looking for work. Uh, he, no, he was, he was out. For, he, yeah, he was out of a job, and uh, his friend told him about some clock that he could uh, he could uh, sleep in while he didn't have any house. So <laughs> he slept. looking for the clock. Yeah, so he was in this clock, and then all of a sudden the, these uh, this group. Clock. Of, uh, Anybody got a clock? Yeah. <laughs> like uh, set the hands, and they thought he was a ghost, and he was like, "Sure, I'll pl- I'll pretend to be a ghost for a while," and then he get- kept getting sidelined because he was just a sidekick, and got really annoyed, <laughs> and he want uh, he wanted to be the uh, the star of the show, so he came up with this uh, Lord Infernicus guy who'd apparently workshopped in comedy clubs, <laughs> and um, came up with this whole plan where he'd get all the group, he'd capture all the groups. And he would, uh, he was gonna set and ship them off to Africa, where for some reason there was a need for mystery solving. They had, they had a shortage of mystery solving teams. Oh my god, we've got lots of <laughs> mysteries to be solved in Africa. We need lots of teenagers with scrooby, groovy ghouly sidekicks. We've got to get them out here to solve all of our mysteries. We've got lots of gold, and there are lots of men trying to build amusement parks and pretend to be ghosts, and they are solving the crimes. So we've got to get the teenagers out here. Stop me at any time when this is getting racist. <laughs> yeah, no, that's pretty much what it what it was. And then he's like, "Oh, oh to throw you off the trail, I got these ger- these uh, these fucking uh, gerbils or hamsters or whatever the fuck, and made tiny little clothes out for them that looked exactly like your 
like your groups made out of the same material just to throw you off. So you'd think the villain had transformed your side, your um, teammates into guinea pigs or hamsters or gerbils or whatever That's the fuck. Very they are. specific. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, what the fuck? The the weirdest thing was like he's like um, talking in a lower tone of voice, but he's still like going, "Don't you know?" And, and like, "Oh my goodness." Yeah, and stuff like that, and then he's like, "I even kidnap my own, my own cat," and then all of a sudden it pans over to the cat, and the cat just goes, "You lied to me!" In this really deep voice, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" And then all of a sudden, murder just, your face. Yeah, and then punches the guy in the face, and then they're all like, um, "Oh, so uh, uh, who should we thank?" And they're like, "Oh, you should thank Scooby." And Scooby says, like, "Hooray!" Good at all, Brad. Then faints, and it turns out it's a dream. Oh, but it was it was kind of fucking weird. You don't say. Yeah. You don't say. Although that does remind me of. Um, uh, oh no, I, I I can cover that in how my week's been. Uh, I'm, have you finished <laughs> with your week? I don't remember. <laughs> you said not much had happened. You just started. Uh, you started at your. Uh, yeah, I did I, drama. Um, what else do we do? Um. Um, the counts went up by another one. Um, <laughs> um, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can't remember what I'm up to now. Um, what the fuck are you like? Um, let's see. Andy, cut this bit. Snoop, how can you see me? What is no wiener or him? Snoop, how can you see the other Stop cutting from now. Um, what else did I do this weekend? Oh, I, um, we went to, I don't know if this has been mentioned, you know the uh, the Doctor Who, um, I think we can, we can probably cover this now as the exclusive. I was going to wait until Paul was on, but oh well. Fuck uh, Paul! <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, no, you know the, the Who Are Toy Lake events? The Who at Hoy Lake events that we were going to be, uh, the, the three of us are going to be at. Uh, Paul is interviewing there. Uh, I'm running the sound and lighting on the day and the video. Uh, and you're going to be in attendance as well uh, as a guest. Um, well, the um, the venue that um, that we were going to be doing that at, at Jack Rabbit Slims in Hoy Lake, has had to cancel on us, unfortunately. So we found a new venue. Huzzah! We are now going to be doing it at the Hillbury Pub in West Kirby. So it's no longer Who at Hoy Lake, it's Who at Hillbury. So, yay, I named it. <laughs> um, which was fairly an obvious name, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, so that's that. Everything's still exactly the same, it's just a change of venue. Okay. Um, and now that this has been 100% confirmed, I can officially announce... <gasps> That's, we will be doing 50 Foot Nerds live. Hooray! At the event. We will be doing our very first performance as the three 50 Foot Nerds live on stage at the event. Holy crap. Yes. There are going to be two signing sessions during the day. Uh, and during the first... I don't think we're that famous, dude. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, not all, not fair, us. we've given away our, not our us. signatures. Not us. Uh, during the signing sessions, we will be doing a 50 Foot Nerds live. Yes. To entertain the uh, the crowds as they are uh, as they are queuing up for the signings, and also those who were so, just so ba- uh, mingling so, around at the. Uh, so basically, the- it'll just be the crowd milling in, and every time someone turns up, we'll scream, "Oi, you! What are your thoughts on rape?" <laughs> no, 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 no. I've I've got some ideas of things that we're going to be talking about. Um, <laughs> Hey, and do you he, remember that episode of Doctor Who? Which one? The one where he sexually molested a dude. <laughs> it's like, what? That never happened. It did in my mind. And he caught this. Finish cutting. <laughs> so yes, 50 foot and Air's live. What do you think? Yeah, that, that's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, like, are we are we just on for like the little 
sections when they're doing the signings. When we say little sections, these signing sections, they're going to be going on for like 15, 20 minutes, half hour maybe. So yeah, well, yeah. They're not As, short. Yeah, uh, they're, not, they're not short, short. And these are going to be... But you, you know, know the, how long we can have, go for things. We're going we're gonna to have captive audiences, mate. Trust me about that. These are going to be people who are just, who are sitting sitting in their seats. They're going to be up at the merchandise things in the queue at the bar. You know, there's going to be we're going to have you know these people ain't going to be able to go anywhere. So basically, so, we're going to go up there, and you guys will be like, "Hello," and I'll be like, "Holy God!" <laughs> well, well, I'm going to be like that myself. All three of us will. So yeah, but, to be fair. Um, I might, I might bring my bass guitar and just have it on my knee, and you're like, man, like what, 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 what are you doing with your guitar? It's like, normally when I'm in front of an audience, I have an instrument. This makes me feel better. <laughs> well, good luck with that, because we've only got, we've only got two microphones, so we've got nothing to plug that into, so you're gonna have no, to try and... I yeah, wasn't gonna actually play it. I was just gonna sit there with it. Yeah, we've just three nerds and two mics, so I don't know how we're gonna work this one out, but yeah. We'll try and work it. You can sit on my knee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, with an offer like that, how can I refuse? Um, Same way you do every night, Pinky. Because <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay Lohan wants my pee. Uh, Monty, like... have you met Carlo? <laughs> yes, they're brothers. Wonder Twin Powers activate. <laughs> Form of Hermes. <laughs> <laughs> racism. Shape of the KKK. <laughs> Excuse me, I must go and eat my breakfast cereals in my office room. <laughs> let me light this. Uh, let me light light this crucifix shaped candle. <laughs> crucifix shaped candle. <laughs> oh dear! It seems to have set the whole thing on fire. Oh well. I lived a good life. <laughs> Being a racist to the end. <laughs> no, there was that man on fire outside. <laughs> because no, he but... hates the Jews, kid. Because he hates the Jews. <laughs> the racist man downstairs is burnt alive. Hooray, it's a Hanukkah miracle. <laughs> Ding dong, the racist is dead. Which one racist? That one. Ding dong, the racist downstairs is dead. But it's not even Hanukkah. I know. Hey, the man who downstairs is dead. We are very happy. Thanks, there, stereotypical you. You're very welcome. <laughs> Would you like to play with my dreidel? No, you creepy. <laughs> Put it away. Excuse me while I go and sing on a tin roof. <laughs> <laughs> if I was a rich man, all these racists would stop burning candles at me. <laughs> I wondered where that was going then, because he was telling people to play with his dreidel, and then he was telling them to go on the roof. Fiddler, on the roof. <laughs> yeah. You really should change the name of that play. <laughs> you know, with today's connotations. Mm, fiddler on the roof, eh? They should call it, I don't know, Violinist on the Roof, perhaps? Starring Jimmy Savile. <laughs> <laughs> now then, now then, now then, I'm going to go up on the roof and play with my violin. You're not even Jewish, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it's called Fiddler. <laughs> Oi, hey, I'm going to go up on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> oi, hey, oi, hey, oi, oi, hey. <laughs> 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 Have you seen that room at hospital? <laughs> I've got lots of golf fixtures for kids to come and play with. <laughs> and my like golf fixtures to find my penis. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Oh, uh, you know, for kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Somewhere Mel Brooks is crying. Probably. <laughs> what are they doing to my religion? <laughs> Same thing we've done to rape. <laughs> We're using it for comedy purposes. I tried explaining some of our jokes to people at work, and quite a few of them have been like, uh, 
You were met with horrified screams and restraining orders, weren't you? Close. (laughs) (laughs) No, uh, I spent, uh, like, the other day at work, I was uh, explaining to them, like, uh, uh, because Joanne was there, and she's the one who heard the the, the Tranizan clip. Is this who I think she is? No. Oh. No, you're you're thinking of uh, the other person. Oh, yes, I know, yeah, I know who HB is, yeah. Yeah, no, uh, no, uh, Joanne's my, uh, my co-worker that I usually give a li- uh, lift when I'm in the car, um, which I'll get onto the car. Uh, as opposed to HB, who's the one who gives you a lift. <laughs> um, funny thing about... <laughs> glossing over that one. Yeah. Well, no, um, that, As opposed that... to you, the one who wants to give it a gloss over that No, I, I will come back to that in I'm a bit. I'm sure you will. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, um, talking to uh, Joanne and uh, Donna was on as well, and um, it's not fun. I can't make fun of it. Eh? No, and uh, she, uh, they were explaining like, uh, I can't remember. Uh, I, I was saying something, and they both said my conversations are weird, and then Joanne <laughs> said you should hear what him and his friend Mike talk about, and then she she said about the premise of uh, she said. Uh, I heard a clip of him, to, uh, um, a recording of him to, and his friend Mike talking about like awful things involving Phil <laughs> Collins and monkeys. And then um, uh, Donna's like, "What?" And I'm like, "Okay, here's what it is, right?" <laughs> so uh, because she brought it up, I had to explain the whole thing because I'm like, I can't just let this go now. I've, yeah. I've got it. I've got. So I started telling her about how. Um, uh, I'm like, have you seen Planet of the Apes? And she's like, what's that got to do with anything? I'm like, you'll see. <laughs> Just explain this whole thing. And then she's uh, I'm like, and then we got onto Tarzan cross-dressing. And she's like, what? Dr- uh, he, he just likes dressing as Jane. And I went, funnily enough, yes. <laughs> she just bursts out laughing and goes, what the fuck? I'm like, yeah, because that one I could explain how we got there. Well, it's most because... of these no, mo- most of these come along because my brain wants to get to the funny bits too soon. So I'm, I, I just go, <laughs> <laughs> it's come along because we say something wrong and then we run with it. That's it, because um, my brain thinks of something funny, but my mouth doesn't work fast enough. So it's, it comes out even funnier because I mess up what I'm about to say. Yeah, like fucking where they get all the marmalade. Yeah. And, uh, and then uh, I, I started saying about how, uh, like, we're, we, we've, um, me and you have got the opinion of, uh, well, most, if not all things, should be made fun of. Yes. And then, the, and um, Donald's like, yeah, I, su- I suppose um, sometimes you, you've, you've got to have a laugh and stuff. And I said, I don't know if you'll agree with Joanne or with me on this point. And then Joanne immediately knew what I was talking about and just shot me a dirty look. And then uh, and I, I'm like, what would you... Uh, uh, I, I, I says to Donna, because I still say I can make the Holocaust funny. And then mm. she, she just went, no, that's going a bit too far. I'm like, what? Let, let Why me play it? you this clip then. <laughs> and, then everyone, and then they're like, no, because people died. People died in this. I'm like, I don't care. It still needs to be made fun of. Because if you make fun of it, uh, they're like that takes the fear out of it, and they're like, "Yeah, it's scary, but people died. It's honouring them." I'm like, "Yeah," and I'm pretty sure some of the people who died probably have the same sort of sense of humour as me. Would most of them will be going, "Oh God, why is he making fun of us?" But then there'll be the odd couple of ghosts going, "Ha ha, that's hilarious," and that's what keeps me going. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like. To be fair, they're dead. They're not likely going 50 to... 50 fucking heads, endorsed by ghosts. <laughs> yeah. I said, to be fair, th- they are dead. It's not like they're going to come back and complain to me about it. So... <laughs> Ooh, we like, like all to complain. A note will float in front of my face saying, please stop telling Holocaust jokes. They're making me cry. <laughs> I'll be like... Uh, I'll be like... Brew 57 says, I don't <laughs> like this joke. <laughs> <laughs> We've had an email from ectoplasm sixty three <laughs> at gmail dot com. Why is the fifty foot nerds uh, nerds account suddenly being followed by an account called at rolling in my grave? <laughs> <laughs> at graveyard nerds says, <laughs> says Ooh, yeah. not funny. Woo. But talking about the cars, clanking chains. 
<laughs> planking. Planking chains. Oh. Pl- planking chains. <laughs> That's what ghosts just do. Just imagine a ghost planking <laughs> on a <laughs> chain for no reason. It's like... They can do easy. They can just plank in midair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they just lay flat. And just <laughs> it's like, how's he doing that? He's a ghost. <laughs> well, is he a Jewish ghost? How's he doing that? <laughs> yeah. So... Quiet ghost rabbi. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> Why? I don't know if Jewish people believe in ghosts. Do they believe in heaven? I don't know. I'm pretty sure they believe in heaven, yeah. So why would there be ghosts? It'd be an angel, wouldn't he? No. Fuck knows. Two Jews. If you're Jewish and believe in ghosts, email us 50 foot nerds at gmail. Are you a Jewish ghost? <laughs> to get in touch with us. <laughs> Oh, God. I ain't afraid of no ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you gonna call? <laughs> you bust us. <laughs> oh, I've actually trained Connor to do that now because um, my brother, my brother says to me, uh, says to him, "Who are you gonna call?" And he said, <laughs> "Ghost." See the ghost was the same with them. You know them long little dreidel dreadlock things that the ghost <laughs> that the <laughs> eyes have got. <laughs> Just <think. laughs> Christ. <laughs> No, I've, I've tried Connor, so, um, like, um, cause, Co- uh, my brother says to him, who are you gonna call? And Connor automatically responded, Ghostbusters! So, I, I changed it, so that, um, cause I thought it's gonna be a more obscure reference if, uh, like, someone says to him, who are you gonna call? And he responds, He Man! <laughs> <laughs> Nice Ghostbusters 2 reference. Yeah, I thought, I thought people would just be like, what? Unless they've seen Ghostbusters 2, they'd be like, ah. Well, my, my sister was taking my daughter to, uh, to a, baby, a friend's baby shower. I hate that, the fact that we do baby showers these days. It just shows the fact that England's getting more and more American. The fact that kids have proms. Fuck these you, days. America. And proms. We don't have proms. We have school dances where boys stand on one side of the gym, girls stand on the other side of the gym, and no one interacts. And that's how gym. it works. It's not a gym, it's a hall. <laughs> that's, yeah, it's actually it's a good point. You have the school hall. Un- no one interacts unless they, for some, somehow, they're b- a boy and a girl. One boy and one girl will get brave and decide to have a little bit of a slow dance, at which point all the other boys and girls will get a bit of a slow dance. But there will be some kind of, like, metre-wide gap between the hips of boys and girls because what the boy will have an erection and the girl won't want anything to do with it. And that's how they'll slow dance. Yeah. Right, the upper half's touching and the lower half's not. That's how it works. I, anyway, I don't, I don't anyway. know. I never. I, I always fuck those things off. Yeah, but that's how it works. Anyway, trust me. But anyway, so she took her to the baby shower. But me mum. But, but anyway, because me me sister's friend won't tell anyone what she's having, a girl or a boy. They were trying to train me little girl to ask what she's having. So they were saying like, so what question have you got to ask Naomi? Is there, what are you, what kind of baby, what, what are you having, a boy or a girl? So they were saying, what kind of, what, what question have you got to ask her? So I was trying to get her to say instead. I was trying to say, so what, what, what question have you got to ask her? I was trying to get her to say, what are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been great. Just look up to her and go, what are you looking have it, at? Haven't you got something to ask Naomi? Who are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been brilliant but she didn't do it apparently oh pity she was, she was too shy but uh, <laughs> never mind yeah that would have been genius if she had a done that yeah. oh how old laughing oh that that actually um, talking about work and stuff leads me on to how my week's been because mm. you know that um, fucking that, that sketch on the Simpsons where it's like on the Treehouse of Horror, where it's like, oh, get this, it is cursed. But you get a free Frogut. The oh, yeah, Frogut is also Joe. cursed. We did that with Joe a while back, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah. My week has been, if you read it in that sort of dialogue, my week has been pretty much that sketch. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like, uh, you've got a job doing the same, exact same thing as you already do. But then you got a call about the broken car. Turns out you need a new car. Hmm. <laughs> and so you've got a like, new car. <laughs> you find out about your room um, that you can have a new car. You're not allowed it for another week. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed a car. 
No, well, it was because, um, like, at the beginning of... That was the thing that keeps confusing people, though, is, though, is uh, the, at the beginning of the week. I'm like, I've got a, I've passed my job interview. I got the job. And they're like, hooray, what are you doing? I'm like, the exact same job I'm already doing. And people are like, wait, what? <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. It, it does because oh, because like, you were only on like a like a temporary basis kind of yeah. thing when you had, like, so I, I had to do an in, a job interview just right. to be able to say yeah I work here now, right? <laughs> and nothing else has changed. Right. I just work there permanently now. Uh, okay. Yeah, it makes sense. And then I was like, so I was like, hooray! I found out I've, I actually get to stay here rather than having to drive all the way to Halifax and most likely lose my job anyway because they were making redundancies at my old workplace. Mm. And then I got a call later and the pe- uh, people repairing my car, because my car, had, uh, like, the previous week, um, I had given... I think I told this story already, didn't I? Um, you remember you telling me, but I don't know if we got it on the show. Ah. Um, the, I, I gave uh, Claire a lift home from work. Hmm. And, oh, no, I was telling this in the car to someone. Uh, to uh, Joanne and Susan when Susan was kind enough to give me a lift to the train station. Uh, Kindly Susan. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the Susan who who called me fucking weird when I said she had generators in her knees. What a bitch, Susan. <laughs> the one that you said uh, her and her husband listen to our podcast while having sex. Oh! That Susan! Creep, cre- creepy Susan. Yeah. Hi, Susan. Hi, Susan's <laughs> husband. Hi, Susan's husband, spam on Susan's face. Oh, God. <laughs> Try getting that image out of your head now as you listen to the show. <laughs> uh, I, I already nicknamed a snowball because... Isn't that your nickname? Well, yeah, kind of. But that, hi, that's... Hi, hi, Simon. <laughs> I still like the... Um... One of the people that, uh, when I was dressed as a hobo at C2E2, just one guy thought I was dressed as Snowball. <laughs> That's still hilarious. But, um, no, uh. Actually, you shouldn't say hi to Zoe because you weren't here. This until like 10 years down the line. Yeah. She's that far behind. Fuck you, Zoe! <laughs> yeah, Zoe. Already did, but, um. Hey! Hey! Zing! I wish I had my sounders. <laughs> but, no, I, I gave Claire a lift home and then went on the motorway to uh, to go to to get back to my house. And as I'm going, the, the, the engine light comes back on. It had been on before and they said it was one of the gaskets, but if you need it, sometimes when you give it a long run, it'll knock the dirt out of the gasket and it'll be yeah. fine. Yeah. So after giving Connor a lift back home, the light went off. And I was like, mm. oh, okay, that's fine then. And then, as I was driving home, the light came back on. Oh. I was like, okay, that's weird. And it started making a kind of a clunky noise. And I was like, okay, I'm going to have to find somewhere to pull over. Once I get off the motorway, I'll find somewhere to pull over and have a look at the engine. Yeah. As I'm coming off, uh, get to the, like, yeah, <laughs> um, onto one of the junctions to go onto, like, a normal road. Nearly at the top of the junction, all of a sudden the engine light goes off, the temperature shoots up, and the car just stops. Ah. I'm like, oh, fuck. I, and I'm turning the key, it won't start, won't start, I'm like, oh, fucking hell. So I have to wait for all the traffic to get around me, and then slowly, like, use the ha- handbrake and my steering wheel to guide myself back into the hard shoulder. And, uh, like, my car's overheated. So I put in some more engine oil, just in case it's that. Managed to creep my car uh, home. I, I eventually managed to get it home. I'm like, okay, so the car's broken. So I take it down to the garage the ne- next day, and they're like, oh, it's probably going to be, um, uh, we'll we'll have a look at it. And then later I get a call saying, oh, it's the radiator. So do you want to, that'll cost about 420 quid to get that re- Jesus. So... What, what do you reckon? I'm like, okay, yeah, fine, replace it, because uh, I'm going to look into getting a new car, but I need the car to get to work. So, replace it. And then when I'm at work, and find out about the uh, the job later that day, I'm like, I'm on my break. I've got a text from the, the garage saying, can you ring us about your car? 
So I'm like, okay, ring them up. And they're like, yeah, we took out the radiator, turned out the head gasket blew up, which is, uh, it was a little radiator leak, and then the head gasket blew, which caused all the rest of the radiator leaks. So if you're getting the radiator and the head gasket replaced, you're going to be spending close to a thousand pounds. I'm like, oh, no. fuck. I basically went, yeah, just put the ra- old radiator back in, I'm just going to get a new car. So, um, sorted, sorted that out, um, Basically, part X my car in there for a Ford Focus uh, Estate 2007. And um, after waiting fucking ages for the combination and stuff to come through, I finally managed to pick that up today. So I've, I've finally got a new car. Oh, wait, Hooray. Okay. Hooray. Yeah. Can we just pause there one second, mate? Because I just want to go and get a drink, okay? Yeah, I'm going to go for a piss. Okay, go on. We will be right back after these messages. <laughs> hey. hey kids, do you like nerdy shit? We like murder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, outtakes. <laughs> Going soon to the next clip show. <laughs> yeah. Space murder kids. <laughs> Who's space gonna come and murder you? Space murder kids! <laughs> Killing you from your sins! They don't, space... ha- they don't have hands, they've just got knives! Space murder kids! You, space murder kids, <laughs> as trained by the candy man! <laughs> they like to murder people because they've got knives or hands, so it's the only way they can get their aggression out. They can't like masturbate or anything like that, you know? It's like, ah! Chop me cock off again. Again? <laughs> again. Go back. <laughs> yes. That's the one curse about being a space murder kid. Regenerated cocks but no way to use them. <laughs> Why don't you get a woman? Would a woman come near you if you had blades for hands? You've not my friend my friend Edward. <laughs> yeah. I pulled the llama's crazy emo battle. Shut up, Edward, and get rid of those fences he- fences, hedges, whatever. <laughs> I can't trip the phone list to us. <laughs> <laughs> Credits. <laughs> that is the advert there. <laughs> Space Bear the Kids. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hey kids, ever murdered anyone? <laughs> <laughs> well, next time you're dissolving your body in a bathtub full of acid, listen to the Attack of the 54 Nerds podcast. <laughs> it's perfect homicide. Thing. <laughs> Where did you kill her? I was listening to the nerds. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, me, Mike. <laughs> me, Andy. <laughs> Sexy. Mm, sexy hearts. <laughs> sexy murder kids. Ugh, sexy murder kids. <laughs> the only one My hearts, come on. they're all knifey. <laughs> <laughs> Give you an open palm slice across the face. <laughs> ah, my face! <laughs> Quiet, you! <laughs> Space burn <Bernard> Connery! <laughs> <laughs> it's like Space Murder Kids, but with 90% more Connery! <laughs> what? Why is it in space? It should be in Scotland. Scotland Murder Connery! <laughs> That sounds like a headline you'd see on the front of the car. You know? Scotland murder Connery. <laughs> Sean Connery went mad this week and decided to murder everyone in Scotland with his knife hands. <laughs> <laughs> My knives, that's so sexy. <laughs> Listen to Attack of the 50 Foot Nerds. Advert number two, done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> When that's the comment, the nerds went, well, we warned you it was going to go. One day it was going to go. Come all over. 
His accomplice, Daniel Craig, was nowhere to be found at this time. Instead, he was just looking for marmalade. We now return from our messages. So, yeah. Um, so, hooray for new cars. Yes. Although, the, the journeys that um, what you mentioning a certain person. Mm-hmm. Um, HB. Yeah, that reminds me of... The Pencil uh, Woman. Eh? The Pencil Woman. <laughs> yeah. She... She likes my number two, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. That's right. She likes German Scheiser videos. No. Who <laughs> <laughs> here? No, I'm joking. I, 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 might, I don't know. Um. <laughs> Let's ask her. Hello? Is that HP? Yes, I've got a question for you. Mm hmm. Yes, no. 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 Shut up. Right. Okay. Question. Okay. Andy Have you says... Been raped? <laughs> Quiet you. Now, Andy, Andy wants to know, do you like German Shazza videos? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, really? No. No. Never on a Tuesday. Uh-huh. No. Well, that's an interesting... No. 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 Huh. Okay. All right. Well, I'll tell him. Okay, bye. Bye. She says, wash your filthy mouth out, you motherfucker. And she also asks... Also, yes. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... No, anyway. Uh, 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 I was getting a lift to the station with uh, Susan and Joanne, and then Susan asks me about how my car broke. Mm-hmm. And I say that I was giving uh, Claire a lift home. <gasps> you said the name... HB, HB. Well, it's because I mentioned it earlier. I might not be talking about HB and Claire might be two separate people. But they're not. It's not like anyone's (laughs) going to listen, so fuck it. Anyway. It's not like anyone at work is going to listen to this, so I don't fucking care. I mean... um, His work sucks and he hates everyone there. He wants to burn you all with lighters and cigarettes. No, actually, my work is is quite fun. But you still want to burn them all with lighters and cigarettes? Well, yeah. <laughs> I usually want to do that to most of the human populace anyway. <laughs> I'm I barely s- controlled myself. Ah! When, I, when, I met, when I met you the first time, you, you didn't notice, but I almost set your shirt on fire. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> you turned around and, you, and then like you turned back and like, what's that burning smell? I'm like, nothing! <laughs> <laughs> and he is the human torch. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's why I turn up in the Arctic wearing nothing but hot pants. <laughs> <laughs> and boots. I don't know. <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I was, um, I started asking and then, and then I just started telling about like, giving a lift and stuff. And then Joanne. You wanna see me in my hot pants, HB? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> but, um,. Joanne basically implies the same thing as you keep implying. <laughs> that you've got rabies and <laughs> like to lick toads. Well, that. Uh, <laughs> no, um... You're cuckoo for cock. <laughs> well, I did keep eating that black midget. <laughs> <laughs> nom, nom, nom. But no, um... She, she, she says she basically implies something along the lines of I'm... <laughs> me and her, me and the, the me and Claire having s- sex in the car to make up for some wrongdoing I've made uh, I've done at work or something. I'm like, what the fuck? Because <laughs> uh, uh, at first she said she said it in a really weird way, and I had absolutely no. Fucking- <laughs> <laughs> it's because Why she- you're talking like that, you strange one. <laughs> it's because she she pronounced uh, chassis as like chasseur. Or something, and it was like, and she's like talk, making chasseurs rock or whatever. I'm like, what the fuck are you on about? I have no idea what you just said. And then Susan had to translate it for me. I'm like, oh. And then I said, well, a guy can dream, but no. 
And he's dreaming about HB. Uh, 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 I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure they took it as the joke it was. but um, Yeah, joke it was, was. We all know the truth, Andy. The population know. It's, we've got audio evidence. Well, if so, if so, well, to be fair, it's got to the point where if anyone said to me, do you want to have uh, any female said to me, do you want to have sex? <laughs> I'd probably say, yeah, go on then. Nice disclaimer. Yeah. <laughs> or, I, I told I, you, man, the clues were there when you were at C2E2, but you freaking didn't even spot them. I, I still say that, that, that you're wrong on that. Um, well, it depends who you're talking about. If you're talking about Tito, then yeah. <laughs> well, well. They are. But I decided that's kind of wrong, especially seeing as by the end of the night, if you've listened to the podcast, you already know he was throwing up into a free comic book day bag. I'm pretty sure I was the one who mentioned that. Then he would have been an easy lay. <laughs> nah. Yeah, but it's kind of wrong. It starts uh, going more into the territory we normally talk about. If, if, very, if, uh, if you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. If um, uh, he's passed out from throwing up and I'm like well time to time to get uh, get, time busy. To get my dick wet yeah um, <laughs> yeah no I am um... just don't vomit on my cock <laughs> well there's an image <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah um, I can say something there you now. go Mahoney <laughs> oh speaking of you going to C2E2 I used that uh, used that the other day is uh, at my acting class is um, one of the things we had to do was like a, a drama exercise as we were put into pairs and we had to tell a story each uh, one person had to tell a true story one person had to tell a lie and uh, basically the, the the group had to then decide which person was telling the truth and which one was lying yeah. so I was with this guy um, and and he said okay he said I, uh, I've got a story here that's like it's true but it's like so unbelievable people would think it was a lie it was a story about how he ended up going to the uh, the celebrity after party at soccer raid last year and I was like okay that's good I was like okay what can I use for a lie then I thought um, well I want something with an element of truth to it that, that isn't true though so I was thinking, what can I do? What can I do? I was trying to think through all the all the um, any other businesses that we've done throughout the years, for yeah. the year rather, and thinking, what can I do? Well, I haven't put an eel up my arse. I, you know, my name's not uh, Frankenstein Moment. Uh, I haven't been on the hunt for peas. Um, and I thought, I know. I thought, I thought about you going to C2E2, and I thought about the night on the party bus and everything. I thought, so I'll just co opt your story about the night on the party bus and about going to Wrigley Field and climbing up the the statue or whatever it was and all this kind of nonsense and I yeah. thought there we go I thought so I basically I just used that entire story about the whole thing about going to the White Castle and all that nonsense but instead of saying it was this year I said it was last year Yeah. to try and put a bit of distance to it and everything so I couldn't say that if, you know because if I said oh it was like like five weeks ago or something then uh, if I, not even that like four weeks ago they, they would have expected the details to be a bit fresher in my mind and all this kind of thing and um, so I put a bit of distance in my mind with it, and this, that, and the other. And, and, and I, I, but because I still knew like all the details to it, to do it, it, it came out very authentic in that. So because he knew his story off by heart, because it actually happened to him, because I knew all the details of yours, because I'm a very good bloody liar. <laughs> <laughs> Is they were very like we don't know which one's which, and because my uh, my drama teacher has known me for like eleven years. She was like, I honestly don't know if you're telling the truth or not. And because, like, going to a convention is something that I probably would do. Yeah. She was like, I don't know. <laughs> so she went, so I'm going to say that you're telling the truth. And I was like, no. <laughs> so uh, I said to her, I said, I've never even been to America. And she was like, ah. Oh. So, yeah. So so your story was, uh, did me did me proud me proud i even sort of put in all the details about the stripper pole in the back and and the caitlin's and you know tito throwing up and all that kind of nonsense yeah oh nice the, the, the sketchy russian bus driver and all that you know I put oh in so you that, even yeah. mentioned stuff that they mentioned on the podcast that i yeah. can't tell you that's right yeah i said about like him uh, you're trying to find a, a white castle that isn't in the sketchy part of town and all that kind of stuff and him saying there isn't one in a not sketchy part of town and all that Saying that he was in the Russian mafia and all, you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did all that. So yeah, 
It was funny because, like, when I said about the bullet bus driver, I even started laughing as if it was something I was just remembering at that moment. I was like, oh, God, yeah, the bus driver, and I started laughing. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah, just those extra little touches. So, yeah, so I managed to fool everyone by them thinking I was I was telling the truth, and I wasn't. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah. Yeah. So, well, yeah. I just I just remember the conversation that me and Gavin got into uh, when I was when I was there, and ideas that I've been spawning on Twitter for next year as well. Um, <clears throat> like when I was there, me and Gavin were talking about the comic All Star Western. Oh yeah, I don't like that book. Oh, I I do. Um, obviously, that's why I still read it. <laughs> and um, uh, the artist is just a, a dude just called. I don't know whether it's a guy or a woman or like a company or whatever. It just credits the art to Moritat. And that's it. And I said, uh, I, I imagine him to be sort of like... Sort of it's it's to... Morrissey. He just, he, just, he draws it when he goes to Habitat. That's what it is. Uh, I, I said, uh, I imagine him to be some sort of weird, mysterious guy who always just... He just turns up at the DC offices with like a, some sort of weird mask on. And like a, wearing a massive cape cloak thing. He just walks just in just like V for Vendetta. V for Vendetta. Yeah, he just walks in <laughs> drops it off. Like, just, just appears out of nowhere. Just delivers a load of pages and then disappears and every single time he leaves like d- the DC officers look outside and he leaves like a giant burning inverted cross in the car park every single time. And they're like, how does he keep doing that? <laughs> just got into this conversation because I said he sounds like a um, sounds like um, a burning a inverted metal... cross. Yeah, what because I said it sounds like a black metal pseudonym, and obviously inverted cross is a satanic, <laughs> which goes with the black metal thing. And I, uh, we added the burning thing, and I said, but it, it's like just in case he doesn't want to piss anyone off. He I was going to say, does he live in the same uh, apartment as the friggin' the uh, <laughs> the, the, the KKK guy who set himself on yeah. fire? No, he's like, uh, yeah. I believe there is an apartment for rent. <laughs> Funny yeah. enough, you should say that. We've just had a guy, well, not a say move out. <laughs> he burned himself to death. <laughs> I shall take it. I am Moritat. <laughs> yeah. Fear me. No, we said, we said, uh, I said, uh, me and Gavin were saying, like, because he doesn't want to offend, like, make anyone think that he's just purely satanic. He gets a, um, a normal a orientated cross, <laughs> like a normal um, Christian cross, and he puts the inverted cross on the top, so it basically looks like a giant line with an equal sign through it that's burning in the DC <laughs> in the DC car park, and everyone's like, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> and then the neighbouring office, and like Moritat's close to getting fired every single time. The only reason they can't fire him is because no one knows who he is or where he comes from, so they can't send him a P like a a P forty five saying that he's fired. <laughs> they can't. So like, we want to fire him, but we can't send him the paperwork to tell him he's fired because we have no idea who he is. But um, yeah, and the idea for next year was um. I was messing around, uh, looking online, and you, you've watched Adventure Time, right? Uh, I've seen bits of it, yeah. Yeah. Have you ever seen Marceline the Vampire Queen? Um, I, don't, I, I honestly, I can't say I've watched enough of it to know who all the characters are and everything. So. Ah, well, she's this um, vampire chick, and she plays... Right. Eh? The, the name doesn't give it away at all, I'll be no. honest. And... Um, the, th- the thing is, she plays uh, a bass guitar that's made out of uh, an axe. Like a four-string bass made out of an axe. Right. And, um, like... Oh, well, if, so you just put this on Twitter if you... If yeah, this is and what um, say. there's, like, an alternate reality thing where um, all the genders are swapped. So, uh... Oh, what's... Uh, I've forgotten the name of the uh, the... The uh, the gender swapped uh, Marceline. Graham. No, it sounds kind of similar to. Uh, let me look. I shall... Barry. No, it's not Barry. Marshall Lee. That's it. Um, Marshall and... Law wins. Yeah, and uh, I said I I was debating on cosplaying as that dude. 
because mainly because I want to try and build the, a work. If you want to cosplay as the dude base. with a bass guitar, just be Scott Pilgrim. No, because fuck Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> mainly what? because mainly because it'll get to the point where people will be like, "Oh, play a bass thing," and then I'll play something, and I'll be like, "You can't be playing. You can't be cosplaying as Scott Pilgrim anymore." I'm like, "Why?" And they're like, "Because your bass riff is too complicated." I'm like, "Oh, you can fuck off." <laughs> That that was the main reason I wanted to cosplay someone with an instrument, because I'd be like, I actually play these instruments. So Absolutely. instead of just standing there going, oh yeah, look at me, I've got a bass guitar, I could go, right, I'm taking an amp, and actually learn like half of the songs that they play in the show, and just be like, and everyone's like, oh wow, you can actually play this. I'm like, yeah, because I'm an actual bassist. <laughs> This is why this is an actual working bass guitar. That's what we need to do, actually, speaking of Scott Pilgrim, we need to check back if that's on Netflix and do that. Yes, we do. And and, uh, I won't be able to do Scott Pilgrim anyway because I have the wrong bass for it, and I'm not buying a Rickenbacker bass just to cosplay Scott Pilgrim, which is why in the end I went, you know what, Uh, Marshall Lee looks kind of hipsterish, he's got short hair and everything, so I don't think I'll pull that off. Fuck it, I'm dressing as Toki Wartooth from uh, from Metalocalypse, because he's got the Who long hair, be? exactly the same colour as mine. All I'd have to do is shave the middle of my moustache and shave my beard off, and then I'd pretty much look exactly like a slightly fatter version of him, at which point I can just say, I'm cosplaying as Toki when he got stuck with all the candy, and all I have to do is keep saying, like, my name's Toki. I slip in and out of diabetic coma. <laughs> I'm, tr- I'm trying to think who I could. Candy who tastes could like be. chicken if chicken was a candy. <laughs> and then, um, and then, because I suggested that on Twitter, uh, like someone else says, uh, well, let's have a look. I, I uh, said that, and um, uh, fucking, and then uh, Andy. Uh, Potato you are Andy. Andy. The fuck off. Yeah. Um, him says, do it next C2E2 because I want to be Murderface. And then Gavin <laughs> says, he'll be Swiss Girl. Murder, Murderface is the name of the bassist. Right, okay, thank God you, 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 you clarified that because otherwise yeah. he's just going to go around and kill people. Yeah. No, um, he wants to... Cause I want to be Murderface. Because uh, he can do a good uh, voice for for, murder fa- for William Murderface. Greetings, I want to murder you. No, the voice is more... Uh, it's uh, more like... That's a dildo. That's a crap on dildo. <laughs> that kind of voice. That's okay. him talking to Toki, and Toki's like... Because well, um, uh, Murderface gets like this massive... <laughs> diamond encrusted cod piece and Toki's like I has got me a cool cool awesome cod piece too look and then it zooms out and he's wearing a strap on dildo <laughs> cuz uh, Toki and Swisscar are obviously like um uh, I think Swisscar's from Sweden and Toki's from Norway and <laughs> they can barely talk proper English <laughs> so um so they always make things, get things wrong. And, uh, Gavin says he'll be Swiss girl. And then, uh, Gajira Toho, Dave, says, uh, uh, if us three are playing those, he'll be Nathan Explosion. So we're like, this has totally gotta happen because we'll have four of the five members of Metalocalypse just walking around together. And then I said, I'll take my Flying V guitar, and because I know quite a few Death Clock songs on guitar anyway, I'll just perfect perfect them and then I can just take my guitar and actually just play Death Clock songs while we're walking around because that would be pretty cool and I I said that and um, nerd oh fuck off I'm not a nerd it's metal (laughs) you're a 50 foot nerd you are well yeah true Uh, Uh, I'm just like yeah it would be pretty um, Pretty. Uh... So what? Am, what am I going to do about your bloody wandering around as a oh, yeah. Diplodocus? Uh, um, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um. To be fair, we need someone to dress as the manager. So oh. you could do that. I've never even watched the damn show. Well, you need to watch it. It's hilarious. I'd rather dress as someone that I know and like. You've got a whole year to watch it. Oh well then. So there you go. <laughs> Or you can be our cameraman. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think, what can I, what can I be? 
It'll only, it'll only be like uh, um, the one day. I, I, I said it mainly because it's like I want to be able to uh, to play the stuff, uh, like just walk around playing an instrument all day. Yeah. Plus, I, I said that uh, uh, me, Gavin, and uh, and uh, Dave dressed as Nathan can all like we can get a picture of us like doing the synchronized windmilling like they they do on on Metalocalypse, and, pe- and uh, people are like, yes, that's got to be awesome. And I'm like. Yeah, it'll be pretty. It should be pretty cool if we can pull that off. So, mm. yeah, that's the plan for next for one of the days for next year. Awesome. Yeah. Can you think, can you think of anything I could be? Because I haven't got any ideas. <laughs> Sean Connery. What? No. I, I want to look good in a kilt. Um, I haven't got any ideas. Um. Hmm. If you got any ideas of what I can cosplay as for C2E2, then let us know at 50 Foot Nerds. Yeah. Because I haven't got a bloody idea. Well, I know there's still like a year to go, but still. Yeah. I want to so, think. So, so, so that's, uh, you'll most likely be there next year then. Oh yeah, I want to be there. Hooray! I Def- definitely want to be there. Because why not? Yeah, precisely. Exactly. You know. It's uh, it's the well. If anything else, it's 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 basically the panels on pages convention, if you like, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. So why you know what else? What what better time of year than than for the British arm of the of the pop network to get over there? Yeah, true. You know, we are the the only British pop show, aren't we? So. Yep. Why not get out there and represent? Go and so, meet our brethren, if you like. Mm. Yeah. And then, they're going to have to uh, expand on the nicknames, because I know um, uh, Kate, uh, Sexy Toaster Caitlin um, mm-hmm. uh, got my attention once by referring to me as English. She, she just yelled, Oi, English! <laughs> I don't think she said, Oi. She said English, and I immediately turned to her because I knew she'd be talk- she was talking to me. And Foxy turns to her and goes, "Did you just call him English?" And she goes, "Yeah." <laughs> but right. if they're both there, then obviously she can't do that anymore because we'll both just turn around and go, "What?" <laughs> it's all right. You can just shout Nagini or something. I'll turn around. That's a fair point. Yeah. I'm surprised uh, not not as many people called me Vaults as I expected. I expected quite a few pe- quite a few of them to know me as Vaults and just be like, "Yeah, because there's the two Andys in the same room." May as well call. Uh, I was expecting quite a few of them to call me Vaults just to differentiate, but no, they just called us both Andy. Yeah. So. I should now. Um, I'm really struggling to think of what a, what the cosplay is. Um, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm I'm going to take the uh, the the. Hmm. It's a tricky yeah. one. I'm mm-hmm. going to take the hobo costume again. Ah, oh, yeah. Be Jimmy Grimble one more time. Yeah, because then that next time I can have uh, we can actually film it like me walking up to people going, going. Do you know what my name is? Do you know what my name is Slim Shady. Slim Shady. It's bloody Slim Shady. Seven M. Eminem. I told someone else at work about that story. Slim Shady Eminem. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, God. And what happened? Uh, no, they, they, they just thought it was really weird. Yeah, because it was. <laughs> was it? Was it? I'm sure it was at work. I, I, just because... Yeah, because they were like... Because every single time I tell that story, people laugh... When um, they they don't laugh at the do you know what my name is do you know what my name is Safeway Pass two quid bit <laughs> they don't laugh until uh, until like after I said do you know what my name is about three or four times I go it's Eminem <laughs> that's when they start laughing <laughs> at the story because they're like wait what <laughs> yeah like same shady yeah. I like to move it move it yeah just, I just the weird start, bits. yeah yeah. And the, the the small crate of fruit. Yeah. Yeah, and the Freddie Mercury pose. Indeed. It was... I can't even... Wait, 
as much as we talk about it, it, it it's really difficult to actually express how strange that whole situation was. It we, just... need, we, we need to, um, next time I'm at Liverpool, we need to actually start wandering around mm. trying to find the dude. I was going to say, when are you next around? I don't know. Because I need to get... Um, because uh, I need, I need, I need, to ideally, get a photo of you, me, and Paul all together, and like soonish. Fun. I need to get a photo of you, me, and Paul all together, and soon. Yeah, that's a fair point. Um, hmm. I'll find out what days I'm, I'm, I am free. Right. Andy, Excellent. cut this part out. <laughs> <laughs> Cut back in. Yeah, so. Hmm. Indeed. 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 Yes. Uh, trying to think what else we need to go over in this episode. Well, we need to, uh, like, next episode will hopefully actually be a normal attack, because we've been doing yes. nothing but beyond for a while. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, yes, we need to get attacking again. Yeah. Attacking with the 50-foot nerds. I think soon we'll, we'll, we'll get to the point where we can actually release that commentary as well. Yes. If we can, Actually, we should put up the Evil Dead commentary, really. We haven't, still haven't released That's it. That's a fair point. Yeah. So that, we'll, we'll release that. The moment we finish recording this... That's when the Evil Dead commentary will go up. Yeah. We'll do that right now. So, when when you uh, when you download the Evil Dead commentary, when you hear this episode, you'll know that this was when that happened. <laughs> yeah. Time travel! <laughs> Precisely. Yeah. Speaking of time travel, we also need to do the... Uh... Doctor Who episode 2. Yes, we do need to do the Doctor Who episode. We will be doing the Doctor Who episode as soon as Paul is free. Yep. So, yes. 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 Hopefully that should be in the next day or two. Fingers crossed. Yes. And uh, if I can arrange a, a, a guest for that episode, then I shall try my hardest. So... <laughs> <sighs> Quiet you. Yes. So there's that then. Um Yeah, I can't think of anything else for this episode, unless you can. No, not really. No. I've had band practice. Have you? Yes. And how was your band? <laughs> the same way it is every week, Pinky. <laughs> okay. Good. Awesome. Yeah. Well, if you like Andy's band, then, then well, it, it depends. Uh, one, one's Fornius, so you can go and download the CD on Bandcamp. Bandcamp dot com. Yeah. Just go to Fornius dot co dot uk. Yeah, it redirects it. So it's easy. And then uh, the other one's how R N E U S dot co dot uk. And then uh, the other one is Hallowed Point, which we've not actually released anything since the band kind of got back together and stuff. If you look, you can look them up on uh, on YouTube, but uh, that's the version of the band that has neither me nor Daniel in it. So, so what's the point? Yeah, it's it's got Dave and Mike who are still who are still in the bands. I'm not you, band. not you, Mike. The other Mike. Uh. But yeah, it's a different mic. Um, yeah, not me or the no. mic. Singing mic. I spit on that. I sing all the time. No, no, but I mean, um, I in, my, in my phone, in my phone uh, you're known as Mike, and he's known as Hallowed Mike. I am Hallowed Mike. No, but you're not the singer of Hallowed Point, are you? No. Well, there you go. I'm singer of Fifty Foot Nades. Nonsense. I freestyle with the best of them, and by best of them I mean worst of them. Precisely. Yeah. 
Where to you? None. Nanification. <laughs> That's my album. It's coming soon. <laughs> Nanification. Yeah. Nanification by medium size Dave. <laughs> because why not? Because why not? Um, yeah, so there's that. Um, all that remains to say then is um, on that bombshell, because um, I never said it. <laughs> yeah, um, go on Twitter at 50 Foot Nerds, uh, at Mike G Bell, at Vault of X Staff, at Auton Scouser, 50 Foot Nerds at gmail.com, Facebook, YouTube, um, um, shoes, you know, the works. Um, yeah, jazz hands. <laughs> On, uh, until next time, then, I've got no cosplay for C2E2. And my name is Temple Smith Von <laughs> Ratcatcher. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that even means. Until next time, Naginis. Andy, cut this part out. And geek out. <laughs> <laughs>
Você é muito mal. Nossa, o Lost acabou o Superman, hein? Não. Não tem nada com isso, está com o Superman. O Superman. Não, não. Se não se ameaça a opção de ativismo que corre dele, faz a crema de febre ainda tinha a semana, alguém lá se não é fina. Se da Wolf vem ele, pois assim, se não se deu cá, 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 pois assim, se não se deu c